In this brief video, we'll examine a common myth that says, in a data sufficiency question, one equation with two variables never provides sufficient information to answer the target question. Now, I don't mean to suggest that this rule is totally without merit. In fact, there are several instances where the rule does hold true. For example, here the target question asks us to find the value of x, and statement 1 tells us that 2x plus 3y is equal to 11. Here we have one equation with two variables, and in this particular case, the statement here is not sufficient since there are infinitely many solutions to this equation. Here are just a few of those solutions. So x could equal 4, it could equal 5.5, negative 2, and so on. Since we cannot determine the value of x with any certainty, statement 1 is not sufficient. So in this case, one equation with two variables did not provide sufficient information to answer the target question. Now before we extrapolate this result into a myth that suggests one equation with two variables never provides sufficient information, let's examine some counterexamples. In this question, we want to find the value of x, and statement 1 gives us one equation with two variables. Now before we conclude that this statement is not sufficient, let's take a closer look. Here we can simplify the equation by first expanding and simplifying the right-hand side. From here we can subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, and then subtract 5y from both sides. Finally, when we subtract 2 from both sides, we can see that x must equal negative 4. Since we can definitively determine the value of x, statement 1 must be sufficient. Now, it could be argued that this equation does not truly have two variables, since one variable essentially disappeared upon closer inspection. The point here is that some equations may look like they have two variables, in which case we may draw the wrong conclusion about whether or not they can be solved. So watch out for that. Okay, here's another example. Once again, we have a statement that provides one equation with two variables. Notice what happens when we factor the left-hand side of this equation, and then divide both sides by 5. We get 2x plus y equals 3. Now, under most circumstances, there would be an infinite number of solutions to this equation. However, we need to remember that the question tells us that x and y are positive integers. If x and y are positive integers, then there is only one solution to this equation. It must be the case that x and y are both equal to 1. Since the equation results in only one possible value for x, statement 1 must be sufficient. Now keep in mind that although I'm presenting these examples as equations, the same situations can arise through word problems where you must create the equations from the information provided. Now when it comes to word problems involving real-world situations, be extra careful to note those situations where it is implied that the variables are indeed positive integers. Okay, here's one last example involving one equation with two variables. In this question, we want to find the sum of x and y. So this already makes this question different from the other questions. The potential mistake here would be to conclude that in order to answer the target question, we must find the individual values of x and y. Now if we were required to find the individual values of x and y, then statement 1 would not be sufficient. However, we are not required to find the individual values for x and y. We are required to find their sum. Now, if we take our equation and subtract x from both sides and add y to both sides, we get 4x plus 4y equals 12. From here, if we divide both sides by 4, we get x plus y equals 3. So the sum of x and y is 3, so it must be the case that statement 1 is sufficient. Okay, the takeaway from all of this is that when it comes to data sufficiency questions, there are situations in which one equation with two variables does provide enough information to answer the target question.